اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to talk about Julius. Now, it is an AI tool that can help you analyze your data. What we can do is we can chat with our data and get insights. So how do we use Julius in our research papers or research thesis? Now, most of the times as we are a bit confused as to how to present, structure and report our descriptive statistics, correlation analysis or further advanced analysis as well. So let me introduce Julius and today we are going to just have a basic introduction as to how to use the tool. So what we can do is let's say we start with the charts and graphs. Now you will need to create your user ID on, on this tool. So now what I've got is I've got a chat GPT kind of format and I can add my files and start chatting with Julius. So what I'm going to do is add a file and start conversation. So where is my file? Let me add a file. Upload file. Here is my file. Open. And now it's uploading my file. Meanwhile, I'll open the file on the side as well. So let me open my data. Now here is my data. So I've got a few demographic variables here. Then I've got my items. So Let's ask Julius about a few things. Here is my data. And we can now start our conversation. Let's say I'm writing a research paper and I'm interested in the summary of my demographic variables or I plan to write the demographic profile of respondents. Can you provide a summary of the variable? age let's see what we get so it's based on python so first it will generate the code and then it will generate the response now here is the summary of the variable age and then you've got descriptive as well now i want to present this in the form of a table in my research thesis for example can you provide a summary write-up of age with a table including sample size mean standard deviation minimum and maximum Let's see what we get. Okay, can you provide a summary in a paragraph for the table? So it did not provide us the summary. So now it, we have got the table, but let's see if we can get the summary as well. Here it is good enough and what we can do is just make sure you read it once as well just to be sure that you are getting the results right now what we need to do is we can simply copy it read it maybe tweak it a little and use it in our thesis or in the data analysis and results chapter where we write the demographic profile of respondents let's say we've got another variable age so from the data set, can you provide a summary of gender, sorry, gender variable with, let's say, a bar graph and a paragraph describing the distribution of gender. Let's see what we get. Now I've got too many questions here, but let's see how we get the response. Again, the Python code. So those who have 
you who know python uh, you will understand how this is and later maybe you can use this code as well modify it now again here is your graph and here is your descriptive or write-up now gender identified as one you can change it and one is male and zero is female now then the this indicates a skewed distribution towards gender one obviously you've got more males in comparison to females now you can download it or edit the graph as well if you want to title yes here is the title axis label y axis label you can change all these as well now here were a few descriptives now let's say if i'm interested in finding out the or some kind of cross tab analysis so let's see if we can do that as well can you provide a cross tab report with age and gender or rather than age and gender because age is a continuous variable here let's do gender and job rank so that we know in like where do these different male and female fall in terms of their job rank so let's say with gender and job rank okay even if there is a problem it keeps on working unless or until it finds the solution so you don't have to give the code again does not exist okay very good we've got it appears the column job rank does not exist in the data frame instead we have columns like rank junior okay yes it found the rank okay and it is giving you the description as well this table indicates that individuals identified as gender one that we refer to as male are more prevalent across all job ranks compared to gender zero now this is giving you an idea with respect to if you are doing a study where you are comparing different variables this can be more helpful when you are writing your discussion section now let's complicate things a bit okay one more thing explore the distribution of job ranks by gender in visual format investigate the relationship between job ranks and gender in terms of percentage distribution so let's say we get this one or rather let's get let's get this one Now here is the graph. Now again, there is a description as well. Now I'm going to complicate this a bit. Let's say, can you provide chi-square test of association between gender and rank? Let's see if we get a chi-square test of association between the two. So here is your chi-square test of association, the chi-square statistics, the p-value, the degrees of freedom and expected frequencies and the results are described as well. So it's, it's not that you are getting very simple analysis from Julius. You can get complex results or more detailed analysis as well. Now, this is how you can use Julius for basic descriptive statistics, describing your data, getting graphs with Julius. So I hope uh, you can now use Julius uh, for your preliminary analysis. Hope I can do some more videos on this tool as well. Thank you very much.